adopted by my granny uh, when I was a few months old and um, I was brought up to believe that they were my mommy and daddy even though they were very old, they were well into their 60s and I was only told when I was 14 that um, my granny wasn't my granny, she told me I'm not your granny, I'm not your mommy, I'm your granny and she told me who my biological mom was and um, so I put it out of my mind. I didn't want to think about it, but it popped up, you know, during my lifetime. And then when I retired, I had cancer, breast cancer, and I decided I was going to now do a family tree and <coughs> find my ancestors. an Ankovitz because I have the divorce papers and in the divorce papers it says one minor child has been granted custody to the father. So I thought right I'm now going to google the name Ankovitz, not go onto the actual ancestry sites and I came across a photo of his grave and underneath Who was, was he? your dad Okay. and underneath was all the names of the children and I saw a Pamela Tolme Ankovitz, and she was born in 1945. So I thought, I'm sure that is my sister. I had company that night, mm -hmm. and we were having dinner together, and um, Alex had phoned me in the middle of our supper time and said, um, I'm sending you an email. Is it okay if I send you this email? It's from this Amber Joy Johnson, Johnson and uh, I think this might give you some answers. So then I said, okay. So of course I went and jumped up and checked it. So I was running back and forth between my <laughs> business and my um, computer, sending emails back and forth to Amber. And then we kind of emailed every day and caught up with each other's lives and uh, found out more about each other's backgrounds and how we'd spent our childhoods and so we're still doing that at this time. Mm, yeah. One of the coincidences were that um, I found my 21st photographs after I got Pam's 21st photographs and you can see the likeness between us and the, the identical hairstyle and we didn't know each other. And Pam's wedding photo is very similar, the veil is very similar to the veil I had. I had a short dress and she made herself a long dress. And, um, yeah, and then we've both had breast cancer. I couldn't believe, you know, that this was all happening so quickly. For over 60 years, we've been at a distance, although in close proximity, and now it's all unfolding so quickly. And she's met her other cousins and my children, my two daughters, my son is in England. And it's, yeah. In the space of 10 minutes, I got an answer to every question I had about who I really was. For myself, I can say, instead of being a speck of dust out there, I now feel I'm human and I have an identity. Mm -hmm. 